Hello everyone. Welcome to Madam Day Mathematics class. Let's look at Mathematics Year 2 with the topic of Time Problem Solving. Look at your activity book, page 122. Question 1. Raju finished his homework at 8.05 in the evening. State the time in words. So let's look at the keywords first. This is the time. 8.05 in the evening. State the time in words. In words maksudnya tulis dalam perkataan. So, you have, you have two ways to write the answer. The first one, you can just write 8.05 in the evening. So, you have to spell one by one. 8, E-I-G-H-T, and then 0, Z-E-R-O, and then 5, F-I-V-E, 5. Then, in the evening. Tulis dalam perkataan. Second way, Cara kedua, you can write like this. How many minutes past 8 in the evening? You can write like this also. Anda juga boleh tulis macam ni. Berapa minit past 8 in the evening? Number 2, Mona started her coloring at 3 o'clock. Mona mula mewarna pada pukul 3. When she finished coloring, the minute's hand was at 9. Apabila dia selesai mewarna, minute hand ialah jarum yang panjang menunjukkan nombor 9. What time did she finish her Coloring. Pada pukul berapakah dia selesai mewarna? So, look at this keyword. Started at 3 o'clock. Mula pukul 3. Lepas tu, selepas habis warna, minute hand menunjukkan 9. So, I will draw the clock face first. Saya akan lukiskan muka jam. Start. Pukul 3 kan? Okay, 3 o'clock, the minute hand, the long hand is at 12. And then the short hand, our hand, is at 3. Jarum panjang di 12, jarum pendek di nombor 3. This is 3 o'clock. Okay, when she finish, apabila dia selesai, dia kata, Minute hand was at 9. Okay, minute hand at the beginning at 12. And then move to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Minute hand stop at 9. So it will become like this. And the hour hand also will move. Jarum pendek juga akan bergerak. Hampir pukul 4. Tetapi belum lagi pukul 4. So, this is the end time, finish time. So, now you have to write this time as the answer. Anda perlu tuliskan jawapan jam ini sebagai jawapan. So, remember you have to put the colon in the middle. Kamu kena letak titik bertindih di tengah-tengah. And then this one is for hour. Berapa jam? Okay. This is in between 3 and 4. Jarum ini di antara 3 dan 4. Maksudnya dia belum lagi 4. It is 3 o'clock. So 3. And then the minute hands is showing 9. 9 is how many minutes? So you have to write at the back here. Tulis di belakang sini berapa minit. Number 3. The clock shows 
the time of arrival of a bus in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, muka jam ini menunjukkan arrival time. Arrival time maksudnya waktu mula. Ah, sorry, maksudnya masa dia tiba. Arrival time ialah masa dia tiba. Sebuah bus sampai di Kuala Lumpur pada pukul 12. 12 o'clock. Okay. The minutes hand and hour hand is showing at 12. So, it is 12 o'clock. What is the time after a quarter of an hour? After means that selepas. Selepas a quarter. A quarter means that 15 minutes. 15 minutes ialah a quarter. Selepas 15 minutes, pukul berapa? So, this is a clock face. Showing the time after 15 minutes, after an a quarter. So, the uh, minutes hand will move from 12 to 1, 2 and 3. The hour hand is at here, in the middle of 12 and 1. Jarum minute berada di 3. Ini ialah quarter. So, now you have to write this time as the answer. Tuliskan jawapan untuk jam ini sebagai jawapan, ya. So, remember, you have to put the colon. Letakkan dot-dot titik bertindir di tengah-tengah. Okay, depan sini, hour. Belakang sini, minute. Number four. The prefix meeting started at 9 o'clock in the morning. Mesyuarat pengawas bermula. Started ialah bermula pada pukul 9 pagi. The meeting ended after 35 minutes. Okay, mesyuarat itu ended maksudnya berakhir after selepas 35 minutes. State the time when the meeting ended. Okay, kita nak cari pada pukul berapakah mesyuarat itu berakhir. Sekarang start dulu. Start at 9 o'clock. So, saya lukiskan hour hand and minute hand macam ni. Menunjukkan 9 o'clock. And the meeting ended after 35 minutes. Selepas 35 minit. Jadi, jarum panjang ini akan bergerak 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. Dia sampai di sini. Jarum panjang akan berhenti di sini. Seperti jam kedua. Ini adalah end time. Masa tamat untuk mesyuarat. So, sekarang tuliskan jawapan ini sebagai jawapannya. Pukul berapa? Depan ini jam, hour. Belakang sini, minit. Lepas tu tuliskan in the morning. Sebab dalam soalan ni kita tahu dia pada waktu pagi. Jadi, kita tuliskan in the morning di hujung. That's all for today. Thank you and happy learning!